Hello everyone, for my next video, let's stay within the family. Uh, Bulgaria was my previous video and today I want to look at Austria, my home country. And I will look at my favorite Austria shirt, which is the one from 2012-2013. That's what they would have worn if they would have qualified for Euro 2012. They didn't. Uh, had a good showing at the beginning, but then yeah, Belgium was a little bit too much. And yeah, the coach was also not good but, uh, for the qualifying. But in this jersey we had, this was the first season under Marcel Koller. Uh, and it showed promise. We had a really tough group with Sweden, Ireland and Germany. And we even had, we got the, there was also Kazakhstan. The draw against Kazakhstan basically did us in. Uh, and yeah, if for once you could beat the Germans or get some points off them would have also helped, but that was never in the cards. Unfortunately, especially the game in Munich was a disaster. Um, I've written on the on, on my blog about this jersey as well. Um, I didn't like it initially, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. Uh, I wear it a lot simply because it's plain, it doesn't have any numbers, and it's the only red jersey that I have that has that feature. I only have two red Austria jerseys. I prefer my Austria jerseys in white, but I also want two white. Um, at first, really like the look, especially this white insert, which kind of makes the Austrian flag. You have, of course, the classic Austria shield. This is how Austria should be, the red, white, red, and then you have the eagle, and then you have another crest here. Uh, Puma, cat, uh, and then you have this weird white pattern. It looks a little bit like some strangulation is happening, or maybe there's a half moon uh, turned upside down. It's a weird pattern over. over but you know, uh, I'm fine with it. If you turn it back though, that's where this jersey sucks a little bit because if you don't have the number here, this framing doesn't make much sense, to be honest. And the number was this horrible font from 2012 that I really didn't like. Um, but other than that, it's a really nice shirt. It's very light. That was the one thing that I really uh, observed. It's super light. Uh, I got this for Father's Day in 2013. We had just moved back to Austria and I was about to watch Austria versus Sweden. So it's kind of funny that I'm wearing my Sweden jersey here. Um, was not planned out. And when I put it on, I really I realized this is super light. Uh, I've never worn such a light a sock, soccer jersey, which is not true because I got the Italy jersey from the same season as well. This here, the crest, is a cloth material. The Italy jersey that we'll see a little bit later is of a plastic material, but this is cloth. So very sturdy, the Puma cats are sewn on. And then the biggest feature that you cannot really make out is that you have the Austrian Eagle here as a shadow pattern. Yes, you can see it nicely. Which is kind of a, almost, yeah, it's printed in there or kind of, it's really nice. It's really, <laughs> see it again, really nice feature. It's not on the other sleeve, the other sleeve is plain. So yeah, uh, it is solid on the front and there's ventilation on the back, uh, which is actually quite nice. And other than that, yeah, it got a little bit dirty on vacation here and I don't know quite why. Uh, but it says here, immer wieder Österreich, Austria, again and again and again, more or less. This was white before I went on vacation with this shirt and I don't know why it's so black now. Uh, maybe it has to be washed a little bit more, <laughs> I guess. Well, they played well in this shirt. I actually, uh, they successfully qual qualified with nine wins in 10 games. The following qualification for Euro 16, where Austria is dis disappointed. But I actually think the height of popularity, and at least for me, was in this shirt. I'm very fond of memory. Fortunately, didn't make it to Brazil. But yeah, if they would have gotten a point against Sweden, or oh, did we need to win against Sweden? I think we were even ahead and then Sweden turned around. Um, but then we would have gone through Portugal, which always was a tough task. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. I like it a lot. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.